what would we call this structure right here? John from bootcamp.com. This video, we're gonna be taking a look at the femoral bone, identifying some bony landmarks on it. So starting off first, are we looking at it from an anterior or posterior perspective? Well, we're looking at it from an anterior perspective, and you can tell by the sort of smoothness of the shaft. On the posterior aspect, remember, we have the linea aspera, which is going to be that long line down the middle where a lot of those adductor muscles attach. You would also see more of a popliteal surface. You would see the articular surface of the medial and the lateral condyles. So the fact that we don't see those tells us that we're looking at this from an anterior perspective. Right here, this would be the head of the femur. We'd have our neck right here. This would be our greater trochanter. This would be the intertrochanteric line, which would give some suggestion to what this would be right here. This is the lesser trochanter. Now we can also tell this intertrochanteric line, this is the less pronounced intro, intertrochanteric connection. On the posterior aspect, we have the intertrochanteric crest, which is a lot more pronounced. So the correct answer in this case is going to be our lesser trochanter.